hello and uh, welcome back to my kitchen uh, today I'm making chapati and uh, I have my ingredients I have um, all purpose flour I have some sugar I will be using some um, vegetable oil and uh, I have my mixer so come along let's make some chapati so I'm putting my flour into the mixer I'm using about um, this is a 2 kg pack but uh, probably I use in with a little bit inside the bucket for rolling out the chapatis so I've added some sugar I like my chapati sweet um, so I did almost um, a cup of a cup of sugar and um, a tablespoon spoon of salt <coughs> uh, just to balance the taste and uh, those are the ingredients I'm using to make my chapatis now there's so many ways of uh, making chapatis so this is just my way um, I'm hoping this flour will give me about 20, 21 pieces of chapati. But let's see, let's wait and see how many I manage to get out of this. So I'm just mixing the sugar, the salt and the flour. Some people use margarine, you rub in margarine um, in the flour, but that's a, that's, that's a choice. Um, you can use uh, margarine or you can use vegetable oil, um, you can use ghee, you can use butter. So it depends on how you like your chapatis to taste. Yeah, so my flour is mixed with the sugar and the salt. So I'll put it in the mixer, add some water, then make our dough. So I've added some water and um, some vegetable oil. This is hot water. Uh, some people prefer cold water, others very hot water, warm water, but hot water is good enough, not very hot, not scalding hot, uh, just enough hotness to make the chapatis uh, soft. So you can mix the mixer, you can mix with your hands, um, I prefer the mixer makes my work easy and then I just continue adding my water as you go on in. and make sure that uh, my dough is to the consistency that I want Soft, um, not a 
soft dough. So um, I guess that water is enough. So my dough is ready. Uh, nice and soft. Yeah. So this is how our dough looks like. So I just removed it from the mixer to the counter and just um, kneading it a little bit more just to make sure that it is smooth and soft. So if you want to make uh, soft chapatis, you make sure that your dough is soft soft enough yeah so um i'll put this away and uh, let it rest for about uh, 30 minutes then i shall come back and work on it so um my dough has been resting for about uh, 30 minutes the nice and soft and uh, it's ready for cooking so let's make some chapati so my dough is ready i will divide this into two and then we can um, make some balls roll them out and uh, cook them Here, nice and soft. Always make sure that your dough is soft so that you do not make um, hard chapatis. So we we'll roll the first one out. Roll it nice and easy. Do not overwork your dough. So I'm aiming at getting a large circle. So, her circle is big enough. Now, um, at this point, uh, people have different ways of doing this, but uh, the outcome is usually the same. We try to get uh, layered chapatis or chapatis that have layers. Uh, so today I'll show you how I achieve my layers. So now with a big circle like that, I'll put some oil. Just enough. You can use a spoon or you can use a kitchen brush, whatever you prefer. And just make sure that uh, the oil is covering the oil part. So once you achieve a good coverage, you 
um, sprinkle some some flour. enough, not too much. And then I will roll my my circle. Just get the beginning part and just roll it like this. Okay. You just roll it thin. So once done, it looks like this. As I said, there are different ways of doing this. There is no method that is right or wrong. Um, the end result is usually the same. Chapatis with layers. So I'll go ahead and divide into small pieces like this. You can see already um, we have some layers. So I'll seal that like that, press this inside there, and there we go. Our chapati is ready for rolling. So I'll put some, some flour on the counter. And I'll do the same for the rest. Okay. So you tuck this inside so that the oil does not seep out. Make sure that it's closed. And there you go. You have your round. So I'll take a clean kitchen towel and just cover them on top so that they do not dry up. You can use um, a parchment paper, a clean polythene bag or something, um, kitchen towel, just to make sure that uh, they do not dry out. And then now we are ready for cooking these chapatis. So we start rolling our chapatis. Mm. Just ensure that you get a nice round circle so I don't like um, 
very bulky chapatis so I try and roll them as thin as I can If you need a thick one, you don't roll for so long. If you need a thin one, you just roll it out as thin as you can go. So this is ready. This is ready for cooking. Keep it aside. As our pan is getting hot, So you have to be gentle to maintain your layers. Um, you can see some bubbles eh? So that tells you that your chapatis have layers. If you do not have the bubbles, don't worry. As long as you applied some oil, you should be able to get your layers. Now this one is not getting a perfect circle, but we'll try. And roll it out as thin as possible be gentle with your dough overworking it will make your chapatis to be hard so we want nice soft chapatis so these two are ready for cooking so this is my pan a very traditional chapati pan you can use the normal pan but um, this is quite thick and does a good job my oil is here and I'll be putting my chapatis over there once they're done So this is our first chapati. Let's see how it comes out. So I'll let it cook on one side and then flip it on the other side.
one point. soft if it does not fold if it breaks once you do this then you know finished cooking my chapatis uh, well uh, from the from the flour that I used I managed to get like 20 of them which is a good number look at this they are nice and soft yeah. see And they have layers and hmm, they taste amazing amazing
Yeah, so I'm having a chapati feast. Uh, chapati is a very versatile. You can actually freeze them. That's why I cooked a lot. I freeze them and then I can I can reheat them whenever I need to. So I don't need to to finish all of them within a short time. So I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Um and I hope that you you learned one or two things uh, about making chapatis. Give it a try. Let me know how yours came out. Um, thank you for watching this video. If you like the content, kindly subscribe to the channel and. Um, we shall be getting more of such interesting uh, content. Thank you so much. And uh, I'll see you on my next one.